Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Bourbon Pour. I'm Jordan. And I'm Brian. And today we are talking the best bourbons that, that we think between that $40 and $50 category. Now we have done the $30 and below and the $30 and $40 lists. Now we're up in a little bit higher tier mm -hmm. of, uh, of letting go a little bit of the cash. Yeah, <laughs> so, and a couple of these have kind of crept up over the years. Yeah. They may have been in that 30 30 to 40 category, but now, mm -hmm. they're, now they're in the next category. Yeah. Uh, but you get some good offerings in, in this uh, this category. There's a lot, a lot out there. Uh, again, like all the other categories, this is one that, uh, well, Rare Breed at one time was, was in this category, but it's not anymore. <laughs> Rare Breed uh, even used to be in that 30 to 40. Right, <laughs> right. so now it's, it's, it's out of this category, but this is, it's wide open. Yeah. And these, these, what we pulled out for you, these are great offers. Yeah. Just, just great bourbon yeah. to be sipping on. So. And what we're going to start with is one that Brian and I voted on together, and that's going to be New Riff. Now, caveat to this, this is a single barrel. But we're talking the small batch right. for that forty to fifty dollar range because yeah. I think it's right have, at forty one dollars. They have a bottled and bond. Bottled and bond small yeah, batch, yeah, yeah. which is I think it's around forty one dollars. Forty one, forty two bucks. And really, the single barrel, if you can find just the standard single barrel that's on liquor store shelves, I think that's in the fifty. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, actually a barrel pick that Brian and I did for the Bourbon Pour Seymour Main Street right. event. Um, so this one was a little bit more, but but yeah, but the offer in the, the, the yeah. bottle and bond yeah. or the small batch yeah. is, is in that forty yeah. category, and it's just yeah. so good. If what? if uh, new riff small batch bottle and bond isn't in your bar, I want you to pause this video, <laughs> go to your nearest liquor <laughs> store and see if it's there, and buy it, and then take it home. Yeah, you will be, and then continue the video. <laughs> you, will, you will be pleasantly surprised if yeah. you've not had it. It's a, it's one of those that early on. It wasn't getting a whole lot of love from right, people, right? But I think now that they're 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 getting some a little more established, state, established. And, oh, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's a cool place. Yes. I, it was, everything about New Riff, I, I love. Just the, the, the the environment there was really cool. The haven't had anything from them that I don't love. I love their rye. Yeah. their rye is phenomenal. Yeah. and um, it's it, they have the eight eight year out now. Mm -hmm. that, and they, they just have a lot for a for a smaller craft distillery that's not been around that long. They have a lot of offerings, mm -hmm. so be sure to check it out. Okay, so yeah. I've got more yeah, bottles you, you on better, my better, side. Better, I better, better I better go. So yeah. for me, um, I'm going to go with this uh, the Heaven Hill bottled and bond. So this was our champion of our bottled and bond series, and I really like this bottle. You should be able to get it for about forty two dollars. Mm -hmm. um, just a great solid bottle. Uh, we we talked in our um, our face off of our bottled and bond I guess championship mm -hmm. uh, that this is one that you could spend a lot of time with kind of exploring the depth of it or it's one that you could kind of just sip and not think yeah, about think, talk yeah, with I friends think, and I think the average uh, drink, bourbon drinker would love that just love somebody it. That, that, that doesn't yeah. drink it all the time but they're gonna be like oh man that's great right, stuff. right. If, if you want to yeah. introduce people to bourbon I think that's yeah, a really good one to do definitely yeah. good so. yeah okay yeah. Well, my, my first one is uh, from Texas, the Still Austin. This mm -hmm. is the, the cash drink. This comes in one penny under uh, $50. It's 40, counts. $49.99. That counts. This one just knocks it out of the park. Yep. It, it is so good. To, to, that's Well, you can see, I, I haven't had this bottle very long, and I'm almost done with it. Yes. It's one that uh, I tend to... I don't drink it a lot but i tend mm -hmm. to hit it on on a friday or saturday sure. uh, evening and that i want to i want to because this it packs a punch it's got a i think it's 116 or something like that okay. but it is, it is so good uh the tasting elements right off the top of my head i can't remember exactly mm -hmm. what it is but it, i just remember just i love just this solid stuff this bourbon yeah yeah, so. yeah and for me uh my next bottle is going to be this blue note unfiltered cask strength and you know me Higher proof. I love. I like higher proof, but I'm not necessarily a proof hound. This one is 122.7. My bottle in particular, and it doesn't drink that way. That's mm -hmm. what both so of us sipping are on sipping yeah, on right really now. Really good. Dude. Yeah, and this is a store pick actually by Ajax Turner. That's a liquor store in in Alabama. I, I was down there uh, for a family thing, and it. This is just excellent. I don't mm -hmm. think there's anything else to say about it. I do believe that Blue Note sources their whiskey um and out of memphis tennessee mm -hmm. is, is where the distillery is but they source it elsewhere um it says that it's distilled in kentucky and bottled by br distilling company memphis tennessee so uh, rumor has it this is from green river okay. Um, okay but i don't know that to be true or not but this is the cast strength unfiltered 
Much like the Still Austin, this is one penny under fifty dollars, <laughs> and I stuck it in. So uh, great. This so, was, a, and this is a, also um, uh, no filtration, mm -hmm. unfiltered. Okay. So two. So two. Not chill filter. Not, not chill filter. filter. That's okay. what I'm trying to think. Yeah. Of. So our we have two of our. Actually, I'm going to add a third one here yep. that are in the lower lower forties. Yep. Then we got two that are in the higher forties. But the the Bartstown, uh, the weeded. This one, uh, I, I put its its brother in the in the thirty to forty category. Uh, this one comes in at forty two bucks, and this is probably my favorite of all the all of their offerings. Uh, what they're putting out is just top top notch mm -hmm. stuff, and it drinks so well uh, at affordable price. Yeah, and it's that's not. I mean, today's market forty bucks is is not. Uh, abnormal, yeah. Uh, but for what you get for forty bucks, this is, is superior. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, and that, I mean, Bardstown, everything they put out is just kind of. I mean, I think you have a lot of confidence mm -hmm. in, in something they put out. So yeah, right. yeah, you know it's gonna be good. Yeah. One thing I just realized, that bottle is fifty-five dollars, so it's not on this list. Ah, let's leave it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, each of these bottles are, are super solid. If you see any of these out and about, I really think you ought to pick them up. You know, there might be a little bit of limitation on these two and this one. Blue Note is not in Indiana, and but I've found it in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. So, uh, or I have seen it in Kentucky. I bought this one in Alabama. But uh, yeah, I think this uh, is pretty well going to be all around. Yeah. Barstown's going to be all around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the, the cash or the still Austin, we're. It, I get it at a couple places in Indiana, but yeah. but our I know our liquor store can't our local store can't get it, so it's, yeah. it's kind of weird on distribution. Yeah, not sure how that works, but anyway, uh, it, it's something that maybe in time you're you're really going to be able to find because I think still Austin is kind of really on the come. Oh that, yeah, that, yeah, they're, they're, they're really putting out great growing. stuff. They're they're garnering a lot of interest, mm -hmm. and that stuff is solid. And dang though, I gotta really sing the notes, high notes good, on this yeah. blue notes. Th this is what we're sipping, yeah. like we said earlier, yeah, and it's, it's solid stuff. And uh, every time I revisit it, I'm, I'm thinking, man, I wish I would have bought two. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Let us know what uh, in the comments below what would be on your list in this forty fifty dollar range. I think we we put together a really solid list, and I know that there's a wide number mm -hmm. of bottles that could be put on this, so we could fill the bar top with that. But for today. Those are our five. Let us know what your five would be. And when you're with your family and your friends, always share, share your whiskey. whiskey.